So the first thing you want to do is start a new composition. I like to keep my 920 by 1080. Roughly about 30 seconds, but change it depending on what your project needs. And then set it to black. Now we want to drag and drop our footage in, like so. Boop. And now what we want to do is find approximately 5 seconds or whatever you want, just as a base where there's nothing going on, as little as possible if you can. Then we put on our top layer, which is going to be us jumping. There's me there, looking cool as ever. So we want to get to the point of the jump where it's just about to come, starting to come back down again. So let's go for that there. Then you want to split the clip by doing Control D, and then right click and go to Time, and then Freeze Frame. This will keep us in position as if we're suspended in time. Hence the name Freeze Frame. So what you want to do now is just using your pen tool, just literally cut around the whole of yourself. Don't worry if it's too sloppy or looks a bit shitty because we're going to sort that out afterwards. So just loosely cut around yourself as I'm doing here. Front hand, arm and both. There we go. Now you'll probably notice in the right hand side there's that washing line. Look, it looks like it's opening a little bit because it's got the base layer and then the top layer so it's trying to cut between the two and again with the leaves you can see the leaves are moving a little bit which kind of looks a little bit shitty so what you want to do is grab the rectangular tool and mask around yourself make sure that the right layer is selected and then feather it out a little bit this will just mean that when you play it as you can see it's just the base layer that's being shown not the top layer so all we've got is just me jumping then you want to play around with the masking on yourself, just feather it out a little bit, maybe expansion it. Just it just gets rid of those harsh edges. And then you want a keyframe position and then move it a few frames onwards and then boof it up. As you can see that looked a little bit shit because of my feathering and my mask. What we do is go back, mask it, and then just play around till we get what we want. So it kind of looks smooth. A lot of this will be hidden when we uh, actually render it because of the rendering makes it all look lovely. Don't know why I went northern then. So there we go, that's what it looks like. However, select motion blur on the layer that moves, i.e. Uh, you're flying, the freeze frame layer. And then when you render it, it will look like this. There you go, see the motion blur is making it look like I'm actually going. Now to make it look a little bit better, we can add in some effects. I like to use some from the Action Essential Pack 2, done by Video Copilot. It's very good, easy to drag and drop in. You can see it's got all loads of atmospheres, blood, fire, gas, gas, glass, smoke, all hit shells. And you've got the shells that spin, so if you're doing shooting, it looks really cool. So we're going to use a dust effect. We're literally just going to drag and drop it in. Whoops. You'll see After Effects already renders up the black background. If you need to do it yourself, you just change the layer to add or screen. That will take that out. Because you can see the edge at the bottom, we're going to take the rectangle tool and then feather out the bottom so there's no sharp edge. Just set it to whatever you want that looks good. And then position it right. And I'm going to, whoops, go down. Boom. So as you see, as I take off, there's loads of dust kicking up. Well, then you're going to select it all, pre compose, name it whatever you want. Fly on, oops, flying mother trucker. Trucking, what, uh, whatever. Now, to give it that good look, select the pre composition that you've made, hit P for position, and then Alt click the stopwatch. And you want to add this expression wiggle brackets 1, 1, 5, close brackets. Then you want to change the rotation by pushing R, Alt click again, and this time put wiggle open brackets 1, comma, point, whoops. You want to go 0 0.5. Let me just do it again. Wiggle, open brackets, one comma decimal five. And what this does is it just gives it a nice sort of handheld feel. As you can see in the bottom left corner, there's a little bit of black still. So what you want to do is open the scale and then just scale it up a little bit just to get rid of that. Then what we want to do is create a new adjustment layer. This is just to make it look a little bit nicer. We're going to put in some curves, a little bit of curves and then change the saturation or the hue, whatever. Play around with it, do whatever you want, make it look awesome. Well, always go for a nice little S, sort of, can you call that S? And then desaturate a little bit, and then it looks lovely. Let me go northern again. 
then you'll create a new solid black key birthing as is and click OK. And then with your rectangular tool, drag it out, make a box like that and then invert the mask and then you'll get your sort of cinema lines as if it were. So just position it about till you've got what you want and then you'll have something that looks like this. Um, so that's me done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, it's my first one. If you've got any feedback or criticisms, please let me know because I'd like to do more in the future, but I'd like to make them good. So, bye-bye.